Good morning. We are finally processing our tomatoes today. We have four huge pots to process, lots of tomatoes, and they are frozen because Eric and I have been collecting them as they ripen, and we've been putting them outside to store them for processing all at one time. I've got a whole bunch of pints over here. We're also gonna be doing salsa this year, and I don't really know how much we're making exactly. So the first step is to get all of our tomatoes, or as many as we can fit, onto the stove. We're gonna heat them up and then run them through the strainer. got a whole nother pot outside to do and then once we get this cooking down we're gonna be starting on our salsa We're not quite done with these skins and the pulp yet. We're actually going to be processing these again with some more water. Alright, I think we've extracted about all we can from these tomatoes. This is gonna go to the chickens. Now that our sauce is cooked down a little bit, we are adding the rest of our ingredients. So we've got carrots, 
onion, shallot, celery, and garlic, and some of our herbs going into this each pot. And then we're also going to be adding a few other dried herbs we have and some spices. And just keep letting it cook down. our salsa. We've made green salsa already this year. Green salsa is made out of tomatoes. We're going to make a red salsa. It's made out of tomatoes. chilies. On top of the onions, the garlic, and the tomatoes, we're also doing Anaheim peppers, which were dehydrated. I rehydrated those. We're doing spicy peppers from the garden, and we're doing cilantro. There's a lot of salsa. We need to heat this up and kind of cook it and get it hot before we can it, but our stove is full with the tomato sauce, so this is going outside for now. Wow. Oh my gosh, that tastes like a mild salsa you get from a Mexican restaurant. There's no salt and pepper in here at all either. Finally getting our sauce canned, and we are going to be pressure canning these 
because of all the extra ingredients we added, which just makes it a little bit less acidic. You can definitely water bath them, but we're gonna be pressure canning them for 35 minutes at 11 pounds. We've got our salsa heating up and it is ready to be water bath. We finished up our tomato sauce last night. We pressure canned all of these. We have 46 pints, which is awesome. We have a lot of that and the salsa is gonna be going for 15 minutes in pints as well. This stuff smells awesome. We're really excited about this because we don't usually make red salsa. We did really well with the tomatoes this year, which was great. So we were able to make some red salsa as well to go along with our green salsa. All right, this is what our finished salsa looks like. In celebration of making this salsa, we are going to be cooking up some fresh chips to eat it. Finally, we're gonna eat some chips and salsa, and that's a wrap.